Investigate and describe that the greater the force applied to it, the greater the change in motion of a given object. We will observe a change in force applied to an object. Now we're going to measure the mass of the spheres using a digital scale set to grams. In science, we always use the metric system. I'm going to place my first sphere in the center, 33 grams. 65 grams. 181 grams. 497 grams. One thousand two hundred sixty three grams. The greater the force applied to an object, the greater the change in motion to that object. So our object in this investigation is this steel sphere. And I've got a pool cue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a force to that object. Right now it has no motion. It's not changing position. It's not moving. I'm going to give it a very gentle force with the pool cue. You could see that that was a very light force and the ball rolled slowly and it kind of wandered off and then hit the wall and stopped. Now I'm going to apply a slightly larger force. Hit it a little bit harder and you see that it rolled straight down the line, continued to roll, bounced off the wall and rolled back off. This time we'll hit it a little bit harder than that. Rolled straight back, bounced, and came back to me. Now, I'm going to hit it kind of as hard as I can and still keep control of it. Moved very quickly, hit it with a great force. It moved very quickly straight out, bounced straight back at me. Let's repeat that. Large force. Light force. And now let's see if I can just hit it with the least amount of force possible. Just a tap and the sphere hardly even moved. So the greater the force applied to the object, the greater the change in motion of the object.